Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Britt, this is Coffee and Makeup, and today we're talking about the best and worst brush sets to buy on eBay. So it is very tempting to buy eBay brush sets just because US companies are so overpriced, I feel, with their brushes, and eBay brush sets are much more reasonably priced. However, sometimes they're a little bit questionable in quality, and other times I find that they're absolutely satisfying in every way. So today I'm just going to be consolidating all of my information and knowledge for you to tell you which brush sets to stay away from on eBay and which you should try out. So I think I'm going to start with the best brush set, just to start on a positive note. And this is an 11 piece brush set that I got on eBay a few months ago and it has been so amazing. I love it so much. It is the 11 piece wooden brush set. I can't hold all of them right now, but it comes with three kabukis. So it has these two and this little guy and then five smaller eye and detail brushes right here and then it comes with three I would call these face brushes a paddle foundation brush a blush or powder brush and this bigger blending brush and I love this set it was only $12 and it is my favorite out of all of the sets I bought I'm gonna talk later about a set that I paid 30 bucks for on eBay that I'm not even that satisfied with this $12 set is amazing and in fact I was on eBay this morning to check out all the prices I paid for you guys and it's now only $10 so definitely get this brush set and here's why I think that it's one of the most complete brush sets on eBay and what I mean is that it has a lot of brushes that you're not gonna find in these other sets one of the best examples of this it has a blending brush in the other two sets I'm going to show you, there aren't any blending brushes, and in fact, there's a lot of brush sets that don't come with one of these, but this is crucial for when you're doing eye work. So that is one reason why this set is so awesome. Also, let's see, I've gotten so much mileage out of this little angled brush. It's amazing. I use it for applying nude shadows to my lids. I use it pretty much every day. These two are awesome. I use this round top one for pressing blush into my face and this flat top for powder. Cannot complain at all. I've had these, like I said, for a few months and I haven't found that they've been shedding excessively. They're still extremely soft. They are synthetic hair completely. There aren't, aren't any brushes with natural hair in this set and the ferrules are all very firmly in place. The only technical issue that I've had is that this little guy has a bit of a problem on the bottom. The glaze on the wood just seemed to chip off. I'm not sure what happened there, but I mean, I don't, I don't really even use this anyway. Like, what would you use this for? It's tiny. It's, it's like a weird handle. But that was the only technical problem that I've had with them. Otherwise, they've stayed together amazingly. This blush and powder brush is awesome good for blush but I think it would be extremely good for just like patting powder on I don't use a lot of powder but I feel like this would be ideal for that um, this big blender is just a beast I mean you can do so much with this I feel like it's a good contour and highlighting brush it's just the perfect in-between size that you sometimes don't get when you're buying brushes um, paddle foundation brushes I don't really use that much but I think that it would be awesome for patting on concealer. It's extremely soft, as are all of these brushes in this set. There's an angled liner brush. Cool, cool. A pencil brush. This is another brush that you're not going to get in a lot of sets. It just comes to a little point. Very soft and it'll be very helpful for you if you're applying makeup under your eyes where you want to keep it in a very small surface area. And concealer brush just your average one and I also just really like the look of this set like I love the wooden handles I love the fact that they're differently shaped they're not all uniform it's just like very aesthetically appealing to me which is probably why I bought it in the first place I have this habit of just buying brushes because they look pretty but this set is very complete 
like I said. So if you're looking for a brush set and you don't have a brush set already that you rely on for most of your makeup or maybe you only have a few brushes, this would be an awesome set for you because it is very, very complete with all the brushes that you'll need. Face brushes, eye brushes, a blending brush. Like I said, you're not going to get that everywhere. And yeah, I just love this set. To me, this has been the best set that I've bought on eBay so far and I really recommend it. Then I guess we should move on to the uh, in the middle set and that is the oh I forgot to say that this wooden 11 piece set came in a little satchel so that's just like a cool bonus I guess so the set that falls squarely in the middle for me I don't regret buying it per se but it's not my favorite set is the 6 plus 10 piece brush set so it came in this cute little box that's definitely a bonus. Got magnetic thing. I use it to store brushes. It's pretty sturdy. And it comes with, well, the set that I bought came with five face brushes and five smaller, I would still consider these face brushes actually. And this set is made to mimic or dupe the uh, Sigma kabuki set. So I was pretty excited about this. This is actually the first set that I bought out of all three of these sets and I really like the round top big kabuki. I think that it's good for applying foundation. I actually prefer a beauty blender to applying with any brush but if I have to use a brush I will use this one and if I have areas where my foundation is cakey after I've applied it I'll just buff it out with this. They're all extremely soft so that's an awesome thing about these brushes. This one probably interests a lot of people because this is the dupe of the Sigma F80 which is oh so popular on YouTube and everywhere probably. Uh, but this is not going to be a perfect dupe for that and I'll tell you why it's just the bristles are too long and they're not densely packed enough for you to get a really good buff with this brush you can see that like when you press down the integrity of the brush is compromised so you're not gonna get a flawless buff with this you're gonna get lines from the fact that these bristles are bending and moving for that reason I hardly use this brush another thing about this set also is that I'm getting uh, I don't know if you can see this but really annoying loosening in the ferrule and I just can't use a brush that has this it just bothers me I hate feeling it like rattle around in there and I've had this on two of the six plus brushes that the ferrule is coming loose like this I paid 30 bucks for this set which isn't a lot compared to some other sets but it's a lot for me and I certainly do not want this to be happening within four months or so of using it and it was about after the second or third wash that I felt this happening and I do very conscientiously wash my brushes I don't get water in here so it shouldn't be happening it's pretty annoying so that's that then another that you might be particularly interested in is this uh, sort of cone shaped brush it's also a very popular shape of brush on YouTube and people use it for patting on their concealer or powder onto their concealer. This is a nice brush, however, if you're not kind of like pressing it away from your face, if you press it in, it does feel a little bit pointy and sharp. And yeah, it's, a, it's an alright brush, but it's not exactly my favorite brush ever. So those are the face brushes I'm trying to think. This uh, angled flat top brush also has the same issue where it's just kind of not dense enough to really do much. And really no complaints about this round top uh, angled brush. It's probably really good for contour. I don't use it for that. I don't really use it for anything, but yes, it's it's fine. And then for the smaller brushes, I think these are pretty good for uh, smaller areas on your face. Like if you're doing contour, I think if I had to do contour with one of these, I would do it with this round top, which is strikingly similar to the one in the previous set that I just showed you. The previous set is a little bit softer, but maybe you want a denser brush, so this would be a good contour brush. Same with the angled round top. And the flat top I like for highlighting 
on the bridge and whoop. I like this one the flat top for highlighting on the bridge of my nose or in smaller areas like my cupid's bow it's very good for that so yeah this set i don't love it i don't hate it i kind of regret paying 30 bucks for it but i still get a lot of use out of these brushes so i cannot complain about the six plus set so now we can move on to the worst brush set that i've ever bought on ebay and this honor goes to the dark coffee brush set from the Lily Yang store. It's a set of eight, so it comes with four of these face brushes and then another four smaller face and or eye brushes. And as you can see, these are gorgeous looking. I just love, they have these like rose gold ferrules and they have this dark wooden stained handle. It's just really pretty as a brush and I love coffee so the fact that it's called dark coffee is just another reason for me to buy it which is why I did and I was also pretty interested in how a one of these flat top I guess thinner foundation brushes would work I was kind of going through a phase where I was really into foundation brushes so yeah they're gorgeous right and they cost only 10 bucks so if you did buy this set, you know, no harm, no foul. But the hairs in this set are just awful. Oh my gosh. They're super scratchy. They're hard. I just wouldn't want to torture my skin with this. I've used all of these brushes a total of one time, except for one, which I've used a couple more times. But the brush hairs are just not fit for a makeup brush that you're going to be using on your face. They're torturous and that goes for all of these face brushes. Um, they are all made of the same hair and just, I don't even want to say anything else about them except they are not fit for the use on your face. So don't, don't get this set. And then these smaller brushes do have slightly softer hair but it's still really scratchy um, if you can see this there's it's not very densely packed and you can see like um, down the ferrule so I feel like in washing these they, the hairs might come loose because they're just not packed enough to really protect water and prevent water from getting in the ferrule so that's an issue and they're just pretty much useless like this flat top I don't know what to do with this um, there's a flat top angled still not sure how I would use this I guess you could use it as a doe foot blender but the hair is just not that nice I have a nicer doe foot blender from coastal Sense. this brush is probably a redeemable element of the set because I think you could use it for highlighting it's just in uh, dome shaped eye brush so I think it would be good to get highlight up in your brow bone or in your inner corners either way that might be a redeeming element and then it has this almost paintbrush looking brush and it says nose shadow brush so I think it's intended for contour this is another one that it just feels like straight up hay just so so scratchy and bad but if it wasn't that scratchy I think it'd be good uh, the YouTube user uh, Farah Dukai she uses a contour brush for her nose that looks pretty similar to this one so I think it could be good but because of the hairs it's just not so in conclusion guys I really recommend that you get this 11 piece wooden brush set from eBay if you're looking for an eBay brush set I think that you'll get good use out of most if not all of these brushes they are varied in their uses they it's a very complete set and I think that the wooden finish and the shapes of these brushes is very aesthetically pleasing also so this is an awesome set definitely get it for the other set six plus I would say if you're really interested to try it try it out also there are some similar dupes of Sigma from a brand called Style Masters that pop up on eBay every once in a while those are only like 16 
15 16 dollars so if you want to try sigma dupes i would suggest that you try those before you pay 30 bucks for the six plus brush set which i think is just mm, it's okay and whatever you do don't buy this dark coffee brush set it's just all bad and i really regret buying it so that is all i hope that you benefited in some way from this and thank you guys for watching again i hope to see you all in my next video bye guys Thank you.